Okay, so this one is the overheating terminals. So is uh, so looks looks is so bad. So because it's outside the the building, you know, not inside. So it's still like a, like a, like a, like a, like a burned here. You see, yeah. So this means the you know the the gas pressure maybe too high. Yeah. So uh, we should go back check the gas pressure and uh, just adjust uh, uh, every every furnace or, or water heater or or the other gas gas fireplace. Yeah, so there's a data plate. So should be tell what's the what's the pressure uh, should be for the for the for the gas valve. Yeah, normally one stage one stage uh, gas appliance. So maybe it's a three point five inch water column. Yeah, so if a two stage, so the lower stage maybe is one point five, and the the higher uh, stage should be the three point five around there. So some 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 furnace maybe give you a range like a, a three point, uh, for example three point two to three point eight inch. Like uh, if the pressure is uh, in in the middle of this this pressure, so it should be okay. Yeah, but if it's too high, yeah, so that's that will will be cause trouble. Yeah, so just a matter a problem like the secondary heat changer is blocked. So so at first, so I just clean the, the coil, but I still uh, trip the high temperature limit. So and later I just check the, the gas pressure. So the low pressure normally we, we require is a 1.5 inch water column. So, but I check the low pressure for the for that gas valve is 2.7. Yeah, so that's too high. So almost double. So, so that's caused a big trouble is a, is a trip to the high pressure limit switch. Yeah, so if you, you have customer is always tripped, so that means have checked the gas, gas, gas pressure. So the, the right picture, the solvent failure. So this one, we, 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 can, we can make lots of uh, uh, same trouble like this. If you see clear here, there's the water, water drip here. So you see both both sides there's the water. Yeah. So the water leaking from the seal here. Yeah. So you can see the the purple color. This normally is a primer. So so in fact when we install the the gas pipe like a six three six or or some some the called Crown is another brand. So we need to learn from the manufacturer. So how to how to connect together, how to glue together, yeah. So so they will tell tell us how to do, yeah. But a primer, so almost need, okay. So if no primer, so you cannot glue tight, yeah. So even 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 when you when you stay there is no problem, but maybe half year later, so will be the problem like, like this. It will be water leaking there. Yeah, and uh, another thing, so you should you should you should be mindful is uh, uh, you can see the the fitting under the pipe when when the connection here, so is uh, you can see is a pop up, so that's mean so when we glue together, we just uh, put the glue there and push the fitting to the pipe. but sometimes it if if you cannot hold there for for some second, it will come out. So if the gas inspector see the see the you know the the mark there is a, is a, the you know the fitting is come out. So this this fitting needed to be uh, completely replaced. Yeah. So so sometimes so you if you see so there's a there's a mark there is a, is a, is a, uh, is a just a, because the the fitting or pipe is a disconnected or, or, or pop up. So you should take picture and uh, there maybe it's leaking. Yeah. So, and another thing we should, uh, we should tell is uh, all the gas uh, exhaust pipe, the venting material should be the same. For example, I use the 636 pipe. I should be used the 636 fittings. So don't mix up. So if I use the 636, uh, pipe and uh, use another brand uh, fittings, that's not allowed. Okay. 
yeah, and the the primer and the and the glue is the same. Should they use the same brand? Yeah, so you 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 must become mad. So some pipe like a black pipe use a white white elbow or white 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 pipe use a black elbow. So that's that's not good. Uh, yeah, so you should take picture and make notes. So so this must be needed to be changed. Yeah, code not allowed a different material for the for the venting. Okay, so this one, so we see normally we need is a three feet at least to the opening area. So this window is kind of open, and the, and the terminal for the exhaust is looks pretty close. Yeah, so this is not good. So like this, if if is uh, for example uh, this area to the opening is uh, is about uh, three feet or over three feet, we can cut this down and just uh, use the pipe straight out, blow straight out. Yeah, so that's that's okay. Yeah, so but uh, we cannot. Uh, so all the pipe we cannot elbow down and then out. Okay, we cannot do like that. So because we have to keep the slope to the furnace. So this uh, damaged wind, like, like I said, so you see this one maybe is a uh, 12 inch or longer, right? So, so like, like, like uh, if you, 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 you do the more on the, the grass, so maybe it's a uh, broken the pipe. Yeah, so that's why, so use uh, that special terminal. It looks better and don't don't need to no, you know worry about the broke the, the pipe. I'll make a quick note there, Sam. If you could just go back one slide, that uh, proximity to the windows, guys. Again, uh, yeah, thank you. That, that comes down to the rating of the appliance, right? So remember, if there was that zero to ten thousand, ten thousand to hundred thousand, or over hundred thousand. So oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you betcha, you betcha. So I mean, depending on the size, it may be uh, six inches, twelve inches, or or three three feet. Uh, yeah. Hey, that question that I asked you, that picture on the left is exactly what I'm talking about. The height okay. of the top of that intake to the bottom of the, the thing. Why is it so high there then if it's not required to be 24 inches? Right. So it's not that it's required to be 24 inches. It's just some applications may allow for it, right? There's typically multiple different configurations that the manufacturer may allow for venting. Yeah. Like the image on the right, right? It's you have two horizontal terminations here. You have a periscope up. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm it's, just it's, trying to find in my manual where I found that number from and it's driving me nuts because I have it written down must and I have it highlighted. So I'm trying to find that in my, my book. Yeah, no, fair enough. I mean, if you find it after class, uh, by all yeah. means, you can send us an email. We'll look into it. But generally, it, it's not a must. And, and Sam, I think you can uh, you can back that up too, right? It's, it's not required that you have a 24-inch distance separation between the exhaust and intake at all times, right? It's kind of um, termination uh, specific. Uh, yeah, so normally it's uh, just like uh, we we saw the you know the uh, the 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 tables before. So the exhaust and the and the intake. So at least at most at most is a is a, is a eight inch is enough. Yeah, so don't need a twenty four inch. In fact, so I I don't know where you saw that. Yeah, so we can talk about that later. You if if you want. Yeah, but uh, but normally, so you know, you just uh, you just see the menu. So all the menu there, there will tell you how to how to run the pipe outside the you know the building. Yeah, so you just run like that is okay. Okay, see, so uh, this one is a is a post sales around the B event. Yeah, sometimes you know the B event is we just uh, push together, is click there or or turn uh, too tight. Yeah, so but still sometimes is uh, is running a long time or, or or some 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 of the angle is changed or, or some some heavy stuff uh, makes the uh, you know the not vertical not horizontal and the 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 sales is bigger than before and then it's a uh, it's some uh, like the condensate water still come out from there yeah so like this so we should uh, we should note to the owner. And then maybe you need to be changed for the, this elbow here. Uh, and the improper materials. Yeah, so just like we said, so for the for the venting, for the gas venting, normally we needed the same materials. 
Yeah, so like here we saw is a is a B vent. I don't know why it is a plastic. Why why they put the plastic there? Yeah, so like that uh, that uh, combustion air port. Yeah, so normally they should use the sheet metal, but they use the uh, the PVC pipes there too. Yeah, so different materials. That means so so you should be careful. Yeah, so if you saw it's different, so then you should check and uh, and maybe so that's not allowed. Yeah, but, but here, so you see the water, so water, so, so it's uh, the plumbing, so maybe it's not that, uh, that uh, strict, you know. Yeah, so we can use the, the packs, uh, copper, or mix together. Yeah, so that's, that's good. But uh, gas wind is uh, normally it's not, not allowed. 